Hello and welcome back to episode 55 of our survival let's play. Um, we're in January. You can see we forecast for snow. There's a couple of things changed since the last episode. Um, we'll go over and have a look now. So we did the weeding in the last episode. Um, is that ready? No, it's still growing. We're not going to get much off there. That has no fertiliser on it. It's got partial weeds and it needs rolling. So that is literally the last of the bad fields. Um, what we did do is, off camera, we put soybeans in here. So we need to go over it with the weeder. But we now have soybeans. Because what we're going to do, we're going to get another production chain going with... Um, the soybean drink. So, where are we at? So, we've got the oat drink on. We're going to get that soybean drink on as well. Uh, ah, the manure is finished. So, that straw we put in, it's given us 233,000 litres of manure. That is not bad at all. We've got some more straw to come as well. Um, obviously, we're not going to get it off the canola. Do we have oats in that one over there? Yeah, we do, don't we? Yeah, so we're going to get it off that. So we'll get more straw to go in that um, that production itself. But today, the first thing we're going to do... I mean, this is from... Well, basically, I'll tell you why I'm on here. I've just done an episode of... Um, of Carmson. It's the first time I've been on Carmson for like <laughs> over a week. Um, I knew over sort of the week going up to Easter I was going to be really really busy so I'd banked a couple of episodes. It was all on this, it was all on No Man's Land. I put three episodes out um, of No Man's Land instead of the the normal two and then going on to Carmston. So I went back on to Carmston and Oh, just an absolute nightmare like I did the sort of the opening couple of bits and then I did a full 15 minute segment um, where it was just me talking doing sort of various bits of work and it just crashed again uh, just kicked us off the map um, and it's just so utterly soul destroying and then there was like a few other sort of little issues I'm going to put this here and I'll tell you why shortly. Yeah, there was a few other issues. So instead of doing the second episode of Carmson, I just thought I'm going to come back on here. Because um, there was things that I want to do on here anyway. So that's a little whinge out of the way. And that's just to sort of say why I'm back on here. Um, whether I put that second, a second episode of Carmson out before this one, I haven't decided yet. But the other thing I've done, you'll see that side there's trees gone um, the other spru they are spruce trees aren't they they're gone they're now on here why is that falling off that's weird right um, any falling off on that side yeah that is really really weird because they've all they've done is they've been stacked up just sitting there so I don't know why they'll have gone off um, so we are going to sell this as well but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these It's it was a comment um, in the last I think it was the last video, it might be in the second or last video by Gary Hayes um, Gary, if you ever read any of the comments Gary comments quite a lot uh, which I really appreciate and what he was basically saying, and I, I totally echo this as well, is this particular coop is making us nothing in comparison. I mean, it's comparative with the with the food. It is comparative, so it's also costing us very little in barley. However, why have it? Well, we've got that coop over there that's making us quite a lot. Um, however, I think we need to feed. I think we need to put feed in both so yeah so that yeah they both need feed uh obviously we're not going to put feed in both but 
let's quickly just jump into here and then get the dumper and we'll get some barley in here I knew that um, it was really low and I knew it wouldn't last the night I just I didn't want to put I didn't want to put the food in uh, off camera basically because it's a bit it's a bit rubbish isn't it if we do that um, I try to do there is sort of some jobs that I'll do off camera um, some sort of monotonous jobs that you see us do all the time however when it comes to things like feeding well this it's a necessity isn't it um, I thought it'd be sort of cheating the system a bit if I if I put it in overnight so we haven't produced any eggs overnight but that's my fault I should have done it on on camera beforehand um, so we'll get this filled up so yeah one of the things that Gary was saying and I totally agreed with him we had like a short conversation about it over the comments was I'd be far better if I wanted more chickens I'd be far better getting the trigger point right where's the trigger at I'd be far better just getting another one of these as opposed to keeping that small one that small one's gonna go now there we go can we get 400 in this one is that right I think we can get 400 in that one can't we and only like what have we got in there is that 40 in that one Right, so that's now full. What did that take? That took 9,000 litres. So that should last a while. Have we got this? Is this all done now? No, it's still fermenting. We'll go and empty this and then we can sell. Sell that coop. It's a bit of a shame because it, it was the first... Um, it was the first sort of major structure that I think we put down. Did we put... It was definitely the first lot of animals we put down. Did we put the silo down? I think we might have put the silo down, might we? Can't remember. It's been such a... I mean, this is... I think we're episode 55 now. So, I mean... Wait, I don't know where the, uh, there it is. So, I mean, it's, it's flown over, to be fair. How many of them have we got? 14. So, we'll sell them. I mean, we're not going to get much for them, but. We need to do it. I'm not going to fill the next one either. I'm just going to, uh. I'm going to let them reproduce. Right, let's demolish this. We get 2,600 back for it. Don't mind that. We are... We're going to get a second lot of animals different to the, um, the chicken soon. I don't want to say anything more, but it's going to go in this area here when we get... I just don't think we'll be getting it yet. And the reason we won't be getting it yet is because I've been looking at manure spreaders because we need them. The fact that we now produce some manure. And that's the whole point in doing it. Um, I'll jump in to do what? While we talk about this. I might as well start taking the wood up to the store. I've got anything I need to sell as well. Don't think I have. No, let's just go and get the wood. Right, so yeah, I've been looking at manure spreaders, I've been on Mod Hub, um, I've looked at the base game ones, and basically, manure spreaders are expensive. <laughs> and I don't think I fully appreciate how expensive they are. 
until I've just been on another had a look. Um, and the issue you've got is the manure factory is quite a distance. I mean, so this is the distance that we travel in now to the manure factory, and we know how quickly. Um, spreaders run oh you go through manure like there's no tomorrow on you it's just it's so quick and I can't be doing this journey all the time so one of the things that I've been looking at we're going to get a manure plate down at the farm and what we'll do is we'll get a bigger trailer and we'll just start bringing sort of trailer fulls down so we can leave it down down at the farm so we're not just constantly having to come up here and refill um, and then it doesn't matter as much about getting a bigger a bigger um, manure spreader so, I mean I'll sell this and then we'll go on and have a quick look looks like I might have stuff to sell there was that the that's possibly the oat drink I'll have a look, see how much we're going to get for it, and I might, um, I might get it sold now. Right, so there was about four, possibly five trees there. 43,000 exactly, so 6,300. Again, it's not loads, I think, I think I mentioned it in the, the last episode, or the last episode where I did, um, where I sold would anyway, it might not have been the last episode, it might have been the one before. Honestly, I expected more per sort of trailer full. However, when you think it only cost us a thousand for that pallet, I know we've had to wait, but it did only cost us a thousand to plant 20 trees, and we've sold probably four. I don't think it was five, I think it was only four. We've sold four there for um, over six grand. It's not a bad return, really, is it? Is that what this is? The oat drink. Right, so we've got the oat drink, we've got the furniture, and we've got the canola oil. Let's have a look. See how much we can sell some of this for. Um, canola oil. We are in. What month are we in? I said, didn't we? Did I say January? So we've got 1900, and it's, so it's a little bit down, but I don't mind selling at that. Um, furniture we're going to be rapidly down here oh no no it's not I don't mind selling that, that either um, what was the other one we had or drink I think that's pretty much steady that one hmm no sell point I'm going to have to buy that store aren't I There is. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Production, sell point. There's a sell point you have to put down for that, I think. Uh, it's this one here. However, I wonder if you can just put the store down. Um, can I put? Can I put that up here? Quite good if I could. Oh yeah, I can. I could put that maybe in this corner, and then sell our stuff up here instead of putting the shop in. I could but just put the shop over. What I could do instead is put put the shop over here because I know there's a this is still our land over here so I could do that instead and then we can sell our gear in there
we'll do that. Um, let's put that there. Sell for a thousand. Let's tidy that up a bit. With some of this. I say tidy up. This is me we're talking about here. Go all the way around there, don't we? I wonder if this is going to give us different prices as well. That'll be good if it does. We'll go along here a bit. No, we won't, because that mustn't be our land. Do you know what? You must have been right on the border there. So we've been quite lucky to be able to place that. Oh my god, that's just cost us a fortune. Right, let's stop doing that because it's addictive. Right, oatmeal drink. So we've got the sell point now. Um, grocery plaster, that's a little bit less, so we're not going to be taking that there. And what was the other thing? We've got canola oil. That's a little bit less as well. So let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get this sold. Because I think that's the one that's starting to build up. Yeah, there's loads of it. One let us zoom out a bit. It's a bit weird. Have I still got some in as well? Still got oats. Yeah, there's still 11,000 litres of oats, and we've obviously got that. Uh, Stop. We've got that other field to do as well. So, I mean, this is going to tick over quite nicely now. I think I might have said in the... I'll put that over there and we'll get a third one on. In the last video that... I think now we will... Instead of doing all our fields with sort of one product, all we'll do is maybe have one with soybean, one with oats, one with barley, um, one with canola, and we'll start working it like that. So we've just got a constant supply going through our productions. We're still just producing. Um, what have we got there? Oat drink night. Right, so hope that shouldn't spawn another one. Why is that spawning? Are oh, these only fa Ah, because they're only 700 litres. Right, now it shouldn't spawn another one. Yeah, it's gone down. Brilliant. I was just making sure that that um, pallet glitch shot we spoke about two episodes ago hasn't come back. And that was absolutely typical as well, wasn't it? Um, I put that video out. And the day that video goes out, the mod gets uh, patched. Absolutely typical. So the title of the video 
was um, money making pallet glitch and <laughs> within hours it's redundant totally redundant because it was patched which for me is great it was patched because like I said um, I didn't want it on anyway because I didn't want to be making the money from it but I also don't want people thinking that I was just sort of clickbait um, a clickbait thumbnail because it totally wasn't right let's go and get this sold I'm sure, wasn't it only like it was only 200 and odd wasn't it it was 270 odd or something per thousand litres as well yeah 272 so we ain't getting much for this but let's think let's have a look at um, what do we get for oats oats we get up to 638 Um, an old drink 10 for 10 what have we run out of there? have we run out of water? am I reading this wrong? are we best not doing this? Surely not. Right, there's 9,000 litres there. So 9,000 litres gets us 240. That's got to be wrong. Surely that's got to be wrong. How can... How can I get 6,000 and odd for that? And then I put it through a production and I only get 272 for that. And yeah, it's... Same with that soybean drink as well. I don't get that. That can't be right. How on earth is that right? If I just sold 9,000 litres of oats, I'm looking at like five grand or something, Anna. That's no good. That is no good at all. Please tell me if I'm wrong with this. If I've read this wrong or... Or what? Because why would that be? Why would you have a production that makes you less? It makes no sense whatsoever. Because I plan on putting the soybeans through there as well. I'm not going to let's pick that one up, is it? I'm saying that one as well. No, cause that'll be where I took the. Um, I'll let's pick this with these up. Though. Them too will be where I've took the liftable pallet mod off for a bit, and same with these here. Right, I'll pick these ones up. I might have to go back down and get the weight. I won't let's pick that one either. Right, I'm going to go and get the weight because I know I won't get to pick these up without it. Right, I've been and got the weight. What I did, I just, it was on the feet. So, 
I just brought the feet up as well. Um, let's put them in a little bit. Yeah, when the um, when the liftable pallet mod was glitching, I, I took it off for a little bit. It wasn't actually for very long in the end. Uh, but just enough for these all to start spawning. Now this might be messy because, as we all know, just the front loaders aren't particularly graceful um, on FS22. Which is annoying. It's definitely some of that they need to look at. Because it's not even. It's not like it's a, a massive sort of issue, is it? I mean, it can be, I suppose, if you're doing loads of it. I tell you where it's going to be. Um, when I start doing the roleplay again, that's when it's going to just it'll look awful. On the roleplay as well, uh, it's been wrong, sorry. Um, talking about the roleplay, obviously it's a series that we started on 19 um, on Attingham Park. And when 22 came out, I was all ready to. Oh, I mean, look at that. I was all ready to move it onto another map. Um, just when that map became available. I was hoping, to be honest, I was hoping it was going to be something like Sandy Bay or. Uh, well, Sandy Bay, that's the one I wanted. Because uh, I absolutely adore that map. But when I was I seen it was either a tweet or a Facebook post yesterday and the creator um it's G B isn't it? J B. J B Modern put something out and I haven't explored this so this I'm going literally off a post I seen um where he was saying there was some content creator, I think possibly on Twitch. I, I don't know who it is, and I haven't got time to look through social media now. But saying that he was going to be doing some work on Attingham or come sort of watch him play Attingham or something like that, which hopefully indicates that <laughs> that um, the FS22 version of Attingham Park is close to being done. If that's the case, then roleplay might be back a lot sooner than what I thought. We will have to... We will have to um, make some sort of changes because there's certain equipment that um, that isn't out for FS22 yet. So the tractor that I've got on there, I've got a Deutz Fahr. It's been. So I haven't been on there since November 21. But it's a Deutz Fahr. Is it like a D80 or something it's called? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, sort of vintage tractor. That isn't out yet on here. But strangely, I'll tell you which one is, is that Kramer, is it a KL200? That was our first tractor that we had on uh, roleplay. That one is out. However, if you remember, that one was also stolen. So, it's just a shame how it works, I suppose. So yeah, we might 
what I would have to do is I would have to see what sort of equipment's out at the time and how I can match things up. Um, there might be have to, there might have to be some sort of creative license and a bit of sort of forgiveness from the viewers. Uh, get off! But I mean stuff like this. We can't have <laughs> we can't have this involved there, can we? Because it would just it would just look absolutely vile. There we go. Right. 3,000 litres of furniture, 6,000 litres of the canola oil. Let's see what we can get. I think over the next couple of episodes, you know, this series, is good, well, I'd say this series, our farm's going to look completely different, hopefully, over the next couple of episodes. There's going to be a lot of changes. Because, I mean, we've got that, um, we've got all that silage to sell as well, which will probably be in the next episode. Right, so nearly 16 grand. That takes us up to 59 and a half. Let's just quickly, before we move on to anything else, wrong one. Let's just quickly... Is there anything in there? Chocolate palette at 50% off. I've not seen that. Is that like... Chocolate that's nearly out of date, do we think? Um, cultivator. A 6 metre cultivator. It takes 170 horsepower. What's our cultivator at the minute? I mean, our cultivator at the minute must be about that sort of width, is it? Five meters. It's not worth spending the money on. And then we've got a tipper trailer there, but it doesn't. It doesn't do what we would want it to do. So that's pointless. Right. Let's look at manure spreaders quickly. Um. So twenty-eight grand, but I mean it's tiny. That's more like it. 8.2. Ah, oh, 9,000 litres, sorry. That one. Is there any sort of... We're getting into the mods now. But I mean, for something with any sort of decent amount of size, you're over 50 grand, aren't you? That's 20,000 litres at 50. I mean, the mod ones are still better value, aren't they? Unless you have to buy one of them as well. If you have to buy one of them, that's really not. You're going to have to as well, aren't you? Um, combinations, yeah. So 18, that one doesn't, 45 grand for 18,000 litres, that one doesn't seem too bad. Why would you choose that one over that one? I don't understand. I don't know. That SVL 18, that looks alright. That one's even better. So I mean, that would be the winner so far. In fact, that seems like a really good price. Um, do you know? I think that one, Vulcan two hundred, simple. Tell you what we'll do, we'll just... Ah, it's 200, 200 horsepower. I'm not going to be able to pull it. That's the... I've only got 180 horsepower tractor, haven't I? Uh, that's not very good. It might have to be that Roland. I 
31,000 for... Right, let me look through these and then we'll see what we can get. Right, we have gone with the Roland. Um, it's cost us just over 31 grand, but we ain't getting anything better really. Um, value for money and for the machinery that we've got. This is pretty much it. Um, there was, I think this spreads at 12, there was a an extension you could put on that spreads at 16, however it was either 6 or 8 grand more, not something we're going to be doing. Um, so let's go and get this filled up. Uh, basically what we're going to do now is we're going to do a quick sort of demonstration of it and then, because I haven't got it loaded on, I'm going to have to go back onto Mod Hub and get the um, newest lab picked up and get that built and it's things like that that's why I'm saying um, the farm's going to look completely different I say completely different there's going to be a good change in the farm in the next um, next few episodes right, I'm going to get down there and then we'll get cracking Right, we're down at field number two. Um, I need to get them stumps out as well. Um, that was a little test just going through the soybean. They're in the first growth stage, so um, we can we can use this tractor on here. That's something we're going to have to be sort of uh, cognizant of going forward. Though I've put the put the help window on just because it's the first time using it so you can see you can activate double application uh, rate as well we're not going to do that because we'll get through it even quicker and we don't need it to be better right. I mean you can see a texture change so that should yeah it's working all right but, I mean we are already 10% through this is why we're going to need that um, manure slab because there's no way we can keep going up to the store every time we uh, we need to refill this but on a positive note this manure is free like we've got this from the straw that ordinarily we've just paid we'd have got a a few grand for when we're getting like two thousand and odd for um for a full load of straw when now we're getting free manure. I am more than happy with this. And to be honest, now looking at it how far we're getting through I think I'm quite happy with how much we're going to use as well. Because I mean, our fields aren't huge. I mean, if you look at, if you think of something like Carmston, our fields aren't that sort of big. This is still a survival um, let's play. We've still started from scratch. So it's not like we've got massive fields. I wonder, I wonder if, it, if this could have pulled the 200 horsepower one. It may well have done. I mean, it doesn't matter now anyway, we've bought this one. But. Because this tractor is 180, so we would have been 20 horsepower down. I tell you where it might have struggled on um we've got two fields in particular haven't we field four and then what would be field sort of number five which is the the biggest one right behind us what's got the oats in some of them are on quite sort of decent uh, inclines i think they might have struggled on that more than anything
you know what, I'm absolutely off the moon with this. We've still got that straw that we keep in the, um, the bale shed next to the harvester as well. I don't know how much we've got, maybe, what do you reckon, maybe nine bales, something like that. I mean, all that can go in. Uh, we'll have a look to see how long them oats will take as well. What sort of stage they're on. I mean, if you look at here, we've done the majority of the field. We're over, we're over halfway. You know, that is not bad at all. To think we've got all that done in just that one little bit there. I think that's going to go a lot longer, a lot further, sorry, than what I thought I would. Right, that was going to be sort of a quick demonstration. What I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to go off, I'm going to go and get the, the mod where we can get the manure slab. That might not go down straight away because I can't remember how much it is and we might not have the money to do that straight away, but I'll get this refilled and then we can get this field finished. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do beforehand as well. I'll just look at what sort of growth stage we're on. Ah, so it looks like we... It looks like this is going to be ready. Um, soon as well, so we'll have all the straw off here to get put into... Oh, manure production. We've still got plenty of space for the straw to go in. Right. That manure factory might be my new favourite mod. But let's get sawed um, and I'll be back on once we're up to date. We're back on and I can't really remember where we left off because I, um, I did the last bit of recording last night before going to bed. And it's now the following night. Um, I know we said we were going to finish this, uh, which we're doing now. Um, I know I mentioned also about downloading the manure plates, which I've gone and done. Um, I haven't sort of chosen which one I'm going to use yet, or I placed any down, anything like that. But I've downloaded the mobs, the mobs, the mods. Um, They've come from Mod Hub. Things we need to do is finish this off. Which we'll do now. I think that should be it all done. Yeah, happy with that. We need to start this other one as well. Although I might do that off camera because I know this video. Before I started this segment, we were already 40 odd minutes in. Why, why is it now gone like that? It's now dropped right, now it's back to not pulling at 6 mile an hour. I don't know why it does that, it's really strange. Um, I'm going to leave that there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get our hole. And we're going to... We're going to quickly weed that field that we've just um, put manure down on. I think there's some things that we'll do off camera just because how long oh, I'm on 0 0.5. There we go. Yeah, just because um, like I said, we're already massively going massively deep into this video and I don't want it. I mean, it's already too long, really. But I say too long, it's already longer than what I'd ideally like. There's only one other field that we need to, um, to put manure on now, which is that field number three. The one that I think it's got canola in. In fact, I don't think it definitely has got canola in. Right, 
mate. So, I mean, we're working at 10 mile an hour here. We were actually working at 12 mile an hour with the newer spreader, which I was really surprised about. Um, again, because a sort of a full 24 hours has passed, I might be repeating some of the things I've seen, but what we'll look to do in the next episode is we'll look to get the manure plate um, I could do as well if one comes in <laughs> if one comes in um, is that that chocolate? yeah it is in the continental, I definitely don't need that do I? Um, if one comes in the used machinery I could do with quite a decent sized trailer so I can start bringing that manure down and putting it on the plate rather than um, rather than going back and forth the whole time but I can't afford to go and buy a brand new trailer not with the stuff that we want to buy if we're going to buy the plate, we're going to buy... I'm hoping we're going to get um, another animal pen soon. I.e. next episode. That's what I'm hoping. That'll only do it if we've got enough money to support it. Um, and I think we should because we've got all them bills to sell, haven't we? And once we sell all that silage, we should have enough money. The issue after that is, have I got enough grass to then support whatever animals I go for? Because not only do I need the grass to support animals, either turning into hay or getting TMR, um, or just feeding them grass, I also need to be able to create silage to sell because that's our money maker isn't it that's we're making all sorts out of that I think the silage is our sort of big hit every um, every I don't know what would it be four episodes maybe so to lose that would be quite quite big really I'm sort of stuck because I want to get this new set of animals um, I want to get sort of fully up and running with the um, whole manure set up which I am doing um, I also want to replace equipment in particular the grass work equipment so Kind of stuck in the middle, and obviously I also want a new bit of land. But I think we spoke about that in the last couple of episodes, where we'll look to do other things first, and then buy that other bit of land. But I mean, that other, that new bit of land is going to become really important in supporting um, whatever animals we choose to get. So they all tie in with each other. It's just choosing how to go about doing it. That's the sort of interesting bit for me at the minute. Uh, I'll quickly get... I so I mean, once we've done this, this is going to close out this video. Uh, and then there'll be things I can do off camera. I think there's only, to be honest, the only things I'm going to do off camera is probably um, put manure down on that field uh, field number three the one just behind our house um, and I think that's it because I think everything else is done yeah uh, we'll be harvesting a canola probably in the next episode if it's ready um, what else we got to do those trees could come down I could get them because that's sort of a monotonous thing to, to watch, isn't it? It's alright watching you do it a couple of times, but 
when you've got loads of trees to come down. I mean, God, it's bad enough actually doing it. It's just the way that I have to do it, um, sort of by hand, and then pick up every single lock by hand. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have great on you after a while. That's why I only do, I'll do one sort of trailer full. I'll get the money for that and then move on. So yeah, those are jobs that I need to do, that I'll probably just do off camera. Um, and then next episode will be in 2 February. And hopefully be replacing some kit because I think that uh, the grass will be ready to cut again, which is, uh, like I said, really important, or will be really important to us. I mean, you can see the weeds in this canyon, but it's not sort of... I know because of the shape of the field, it's not sort of straight lines that we use all the time. It sort of bows towards the middle, sort of bows outwards. Seem to be getting most of it, doesn't it, like? I can't wait to get that field sorted out as well so I can get um so I can get those horrible squares removed. Uh I, I might have mentioned this in the first bit and I apologise if I do, but I think it was um Gary Hayes commenting again about um it's when you get them squares when you're trying to do the um editing, the sort of painting, and you'll hit a tree, so it'll have that, um, I don't know what's it called, not non-collision, I can't think of it exactly what it's called, but you know what I mean, um, it's that sort of collision camera isn't it, which is an absolute nightmare when you're trying to go in buildings and stuff like that, the, um, the thing that you could disable in 2018. Oh, FS19, sorry. It's because of that, so that's why I ended up with those those horrible squares. Which I'm going to have to now spend time rectifying. And what cost us money in the first place as well. I mean, this, this fee has been an absolute, I think it's sort of game changing for this episode, for this episode, this um, series, you know, because it's just allow us to sort of kick on. I think without this we'd still be um, sort of significantly further, uh, further back than what we are now. I think where we are now, we're really, really starting to progress quite quickly. Um, and again, I don't mean sort of Calmston level quickly, but at least we seem to be having money now. We seem to be generating money. Most episodes, um, I think we're getting sort of a decent rhythm going now. Although I'm still I've had 24 hours to think about it. I haven't done any research into it, but I still can't understand why we would put oats and soybean through that production to do the drink, the oat or soybean drink. I can't understand the benefit. And I must be missing something you can't surely get. Spend the money on a production spend the time doing the production 
to get a third of the price of what you could have got by selling that, by selling the crop um, in its original state. I'm hoping once this video goes out, someone tells us um, it's actually X, Y, and Z. So you're not missing out. Or you have to do this, this, and this, and then everything will be all right. That's what I'm hoping. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think our production chain, unless we can start getting the other stuff. I think it's like ice cream, one, two. Ice cream and butter, maybe. The other thing that goes through a particular uh, particular production chain. Unless we can get them going, then that might be a bit of a waste. Right, we are nearly done. And then once we are, that is going to be us for the episode. I don't want to do that. Right, that is us done. Us done. Um, and now that'll be us for the episode. Um, I feel like we've got. I feel like we've made sort of uh, sort of big boy steps now. Like I've just said. We seem to be really progressing. If I want to make money now, I can, I can go and do it. And with that silage coming in in the next episode as well, because I think I will probably just do those couple of jobs off camera and then go into the next month. Um, with us doing that as well, I think we're in a good position now. And I'm, I am really pleased with how this particular map's going. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.